Right now, there is a dangerous situation for students and their families at a school in North Fulton County. Yeah, several car accidents have happened over the years during morning and afternoon carpool, and school leaders tell us they can't get any government agencies to help with safety improvements. So we put CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm on the case. Here's the situation. I'm standing right at the border between Milton and Roswell. This is the school where families feel stuck in the middle. You have a navy blue shirt, blue. Inside Porter Academy, a private school for children with varying developmental needs, it's a calm environment. It's gonna go inside your red folder. But outside at the school's entrance, it can be the exact opposite, especially during drop off and pick up. Three of the school's families have been involved in accidents at the school's entrance on the 40 mile an hour Cox Road in the past couple of years alone, including Nancy Nielsen. It was very scary. It was, my son was very scared. Very frustrating when you see your special needs children get injured and have to go in an ambulance. Assistant Principal Barbara Richard tells me the school has been here for 22 years, but never has it had a school zone designation. The reason? It sits right on the city line. Roswell police say it's Milton because it's the street, and the Milton police say it's Roswell because the school's in Roswell. So I can't get a school crossing sign, I can't get a crossing guard, a flashing light, a reduced speed limit. I've gotten no help in 10 years. We reached out to both jurisdictions. A city of Milton spokesman tells me the city's recently passed special purpose local option sales tax does include improvements to intersections in and around Cox Road. Nancy Nielsen says any safety improvement would help. A flashing light just to give people a heads up. We're a school here. School leaders tell me they'd be happy to hire an off-duty police officer to direct traffic at the entrance if someone would just get back with them on how to do that. In North Fulton County, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.